guys welcome back so I'm on my actual camera so I already filmed the video of the decluttering and I had to erase it I did it on my phone and I should have realized but the file is way too big to transfer to my computer it's just too much of a hassle to um, film on that and then transfer it over and all that so we're doing the real thing of using my actual camera and filming, uh, filming. So since we're doing that, we're probably just going to bring the YouTube channel back. So you guys are getting the real deal here. Um, so yeah, I am just basically going to show you what I did with the bathroom and then we are going to start getting into the kitchen decluttering. Um, but yeah, bear with me because I haven't done any like videos and like stuff like that in a while so but we're just we're we're doing it we're um because if I don't do it we're not gonna do it and we're getting over the procrastination and fear of people's opinions this year because we're just we're getting over it <laughs> so um yeah all right so this is the half bathroom that's downstairs um so this i mentioned in the the valentine's day ignore my tripod that's right here but this is the fireplace i mentioned um in the valentine's day um hall but this is a half bathroom so you walk in it's literally nothing crazy it's messy this we're not worrying about the mess right now we're not cleaning we're decluttering um, and that's one of the big things is right now, um, is focus on one thing, whether you're cleaning or decluttering. I mean, sometimes I do, hi, um, like to clean while I declutter to tackle both things. But right now when my main mission is to declutter, because we just recently moved into this house, um, and get this place in order. So look, you can see how gross my mirror is. Um. But yeah, so we're focusing on decluttering so we can get this house in order. So this is the vanity we have down here. I would like to get like a little, like a little organizer thing maybe on the side that has like little drawers or something. Um, I was thinking of getting like maybe a little basket thing, but we have a toilet thing that has the little button at the top, which I honestly, I don't like. Anyways, up top, I love this. Um, this is just feminine products. This is going to stay until I maybe get a really good organizer thing here. And then I just have the trash bags for the trashes in here up here. And then, cause I don't really know what else to put in here. Um, and then I'm the only female in the house right now. So I mainly need to access that. So <laughs> that, um, and then this is our thermometer. I have the bronze thermometer, your thermometer, and then the um, covers to that. There we go, you guys, we're not in focus, I'm so sorry. And then this is um, covers to like regular thermometers, like the plastic sleeves. I was thinking I might move them down underneath, which I'll show you in a second, but I don't think it's gonna fit. So I might keep that there. So that's what the top's looking like. And then, see this is what the bottom looks like it was I wish I had I could have shown you how bad it was it was so bad but you know you can't win them all and that's okay so this is how it turned out um we just have some toller toller toilet paper back there the cleaning wand and some wand things back there some booty wipes um this is the uh first aid kit thing I mean not kit but organizer thing I got I got this on Shein I will have links um when I post this video I'll link it I found it actually cheaper on Shein than I did um, Walmart Amazon I cannot talk today um so I love this this is super cute I have some just little small first aid things and then like an ace bandage some masks that we've had from COVID we got rid of quite a few and then we kept some just in case, you know, we get sick and we don't want the baby getting sick or something. And then some, like, medical tape and stuff like that. 
I wanted to get rid of this, but I have a bunch of band-aids and alcohol prep pads in that. I was on a migraine injection before, and depending if I want to change back on that, I'd like to have those on hand. And then down here, I have a bunch of our medications that we have on hand that aren't expired. I got rid of all the things that are expired, and then I have some like medications uh, or prescriptions, I should say, that are extra. So sometimes we'll get like three months um, and then I just put the overstock in here as well. Up here, I just have some cough drops. I have a blood pressure cuff, COVID test, because <laughs> that's life now, um, hydrogen peroxide, and then I have, so the, this set came with two. I put the smaller like organizer down here. I'm gonna put the larger one upstairs in the bathroom up there. And then um, it came with these like cups that hook on, but I don't need this one down here. I was thinking of putting the thermometer in here, but it's definitely not gonna fit in there. So we can actually test it. Oh my God. Let me see. Yeah, no, that's not gonna fit. Um, so I think I might honestly just take that off and then put it on the one upstairs. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but that is the outcome of this, which I definitely like much better. Like all the COVID tests used to be still in like packaging and there was a bunch of expired medications. Um, this was all in shambles. This is nicely organized now. Um, but yeah much much better and then so this is what I was talking about this is the stuff that we managed to get out of that on like underneath this thing so this is what came like, the, <laughs> the COVID test came in so we got that out of there now tackling the island excuse the mess but this is just lights just in case I needed them um if it was too dark in here so we're gonna be tackling these drawers, like here, basically. So, I'm gonna put you guys on my tripod and we're gonna go through all these drawers and see what we can get rid of. This is like Emmett's food. I have some cups here. Um, it's not terrible, so. But there's definitely some stuff we can part with, so let's do it.
All right, so this is, I'm gonna show you guys what we're getting rid of slash moving around um, first. Ignore the crumbs that are on the island. Um, <laughs> remember, we're not cleaning right now, we're just decluttering. Um, this is going underneath the bathroom cabinet. Um, we eventually will move first aid when Emma is older or we'll put locks on the cabinet. Um, obviously, if you have older children that can access a cabinet that has first aid, make sure it's locked or out of reach of children. Um, but Emma isn't of age where he can access that cabinet, so we're not too concerned where he'll be able to get into that cabinet. That's why it's in that bathroom cabinet. Um, chopsticks, my husband said he doesn't need these, so we're going to pass those on. These spoons, I'm not a fan of. Um, I did keep a couple other baby spoons we sometimes use with him, so I'm going to use, we'll keep these other spoons I'll show you later on, um, just for a period of time. The lighting's starting to get a little weird in here, so I apologize on that. But we're going to pass on those. These serving spoons and stuff, I'm going to keep. I'm just going to move them to another spot, which the items that I do have, they're kind of, the serving where I have are kind of all over the place. And my idea is the cabinet above our fridge is very deep. It goes way back. So I think my serving ware is going to go up there. Right now it's recipe books. And a lot of those are going to go upstairs in my office. So my plan is to put serving ware and stuff like that up there. So we're going to put that these aside for now. This is a bunch of baby food that my son is now beyond eating. He doesn't really need these. So we are going to move on from these. This is open. So I'm going to see if another mom can use this. Goes bad in August, so it's still good. Um, I think I know a mom that could possibly use it, um, but this I think I can pass on as well. I'll double check the dates. And then this is what this is. This is prescriptions. I don't really need to show, um, but I keep prescriptions, vitamins, um, ibuprofen, Tylenol, the stuff we use all the time because it's right near the fridge and I remember to take my medication that way. Again, my son is young, so I'm not worried about him getting into there. Um, and then silverware drawer. I do need a new one because this is like breaking. Um, but it's it's working right now. I put my like clips because we use these all the time right here and a little organizer. And then I put my straws here and then our scissors right there. Sorry if you guys can't really see. With the lighting i probably should have put the lighting on and then this drawer is kind of awkward it's very like narrow but it does go kind of back a little bit um we have these two measuring cups a little butter dish thing i want to get a cute butter dish that i can leave out because i do like actual butter like sticks of butter instead of like margarine so i would like to get like a cute butter dish. I have this. I like using this. I've had this for a while, but I like using it for like salad dressing or like stuff to like dip stuff in. Um, this is like for like drink. Well, these are orange peels. And then uh, a funnel. This is to make like drinks, like martinis and stuff. My husband likes this stuff. And then that's to steam stuff with like a steamer. So we have that. That's like a miscellaneous drawer, honestly. Down here, I didn't even touch. It's just our panini maker and toaster. We use those often. And then my cups. These are eventually going to move um, into a cabinet. And I don't... Those are... I Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to move um, some shelves for that. So that's going to be a project. And then below that is like some bowls and that again, I'm going to have to figure out cabinet space. So our previous house had tons of cabinet space. Our new kitchen doesn't have as many cabinets. So I'm trying to figure out space. We are going to get another one of these small cheapo cabinets 
right next to it so we have more space but then we are going to get shelving down in our basement for more storage space as well and then down here is kind of like emmett's my son's stuff so his snacks are here i'm sorry if you guys can't see anything um hopefully you can fix that let me see if i can increase the lighting for you guys haha -ha, there we go hopefully that's better okay and then yeah so we have his snacks here and then i put his spoons here for now um i do have a small cabinet near the sink up behind me and it is a disaster <laughs> and that's where i was getting frustrated because i was like i kind of want to move it down here but then it's like close to the floor and i don't want it getting dirty but then i need to go through all that stuff and we're going to be getting rid of his baby bottles soon because he's now in sippy cups so that will clear some space from that cabinet and then these will probably be able to go in there so we're gonna leave these here for now and then yeah so then I put canned goods down here because these are closed so I don't have to worry about the food getting gross okay, we finally did it let me know what you guys think um, I'm excited to tackle more more spots that was weird I'm excited to tackle more spots in the house but I'm finally glad to get some of this baby food out of here. It's been sitting in this cabinet for a while. Um, and I'm excited to get this house in order. So, yay. Um, let me know what you guys think. I am so excited to bring you guys along with me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.